Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Time for another video. Welcome back to my workshop. What you see in the front of you is my beast. My beast with a handmade carbon fiber deck. If you want to take a look at my videos, guys, you will see how this deck was born. It was not an easy uh, uh, route. I've broken a couple of des uh, decks before I got to the stage where I can trust it and where this deck can take my 17 and a half stone, 110 kilos going 35 mile an hour and the way after I've achieved that is by actually applying a real carbon fiber onto the top of the bottom of my deck the reason why I had to do that is I had to cut the deck quite a lot on both sides to accommodate for the uh, uh, larger wheels and well it was the dream so the today's video is gonna be about does the real carbon fiber actually help straightening the deck Real carbon fiber is just a normal, really floppy bits of fiber weaved together. And that's why you get different weaves of carbon fiber. So what I've done when I was making my deck, for starters, a full tutorial. So if you want to know how to, uh, well, starting from the ingredients you require and techniques you require uh, to cover your deck or any other surface, it can be uh, your bike, your car, whatever not, whatever you want to do, strengthen or just make it nice and pretty. So the tutorial is out there and it will help you step by step what to buy, how to do it. So while I was doing my deck, what I've done was I have applied carbon fiber on a cardboard box of real carbon fiber. As you can see, it's just a material really. And we're going to do a strength test between them two. And that will give us a clear understanding if single layer of carbon fiber gives you any strength at all. So the test subjects are ready. Normal cardboard and cardboard treated with a single layer of a carbon fiber. Test number one, normal cardboard. I probably won't be able to use any weights on it. I was a bit overly uh, enthusiastic there. So what we do is we just use some rough stuff wheels to put some tension on this cardboard. One, so one rough stuff wheel, which is 460 gram. Second rough stuff wheel, okay, cardboard has uh, folded a little bit. What else can we use just to put a bit of uh, weight on that? Okay, didn't have to. So, two rough stuff wheels worth of weight. So now, carbon fiber treated cardboard. Should we go cardboard uh, down or up? Well, normally I treat the uh, bottom of the deck with the carbon fiber because it is flexing this way. So, let's do it this way and we'll test it both ways. So, one wheel. Two wheels, nice and straight. Well, I don't want Evolve to feel left out. Evolve wheel, still holding. It's bowing a little bit, but the cardboard did not collapse. Very nice. Well, it's a proper <laughs> electric skateboard weight, isn't it? Second Evolve wheel. Okay, we had some sort of creaky noise, but it did not yet collapse. Very impressive. Should I push it for the third wheel? It is bowing, but it's not actually breaking. If I get to, to balance, okay, let's go. Let's get it to balance. Very good. 
So a piece of cardboard treated with a single layer of carbon fiber underneath. Out of curiosity, let's see how much weight that is actually is. So one rough stuff wheel, 488. Two rough stuff wheels, 970. And we had two evolved wheels on the top of that cardboard. That's two kilos, 100. And 63 grams. Not bad. So now, just out of curiosity, let's move the treated part of the uh, cardboard to the top and do exactly the same test. So one wheel, two wheels, evolve wheel, another evolve wheel. Okay, 30 wall wheel. Hmm, ran out of wheels here. Fourth wheel. Okay, that's not fun anymore. How about a dumbbell? One kilo, 250 gram. Okay, now I need to balance this. How about another one kilo, 250 gram? Okay, started to boil a little bit. And another. Oh, this is amazing. I love carbon fiber. Oh, 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 stay there. So it's bowing. It's bouncing. But it's not collapsing. That is amazing. Well, so we go for the fourth. Okay. I am only holding the weight from collapsing. The entire weight is actually sitting on a normal cardboard treated with carbon fiber. So here we go guys, an easy simple test and that is the same piece of cardboard. And it's a normal piece of cardboard. Has a nice flex to it without breaking. Look how much I can stress this carbon fiber to. The clear coat is not breaking, not cracking, or anything, and it comes right back. Oh! At that point, I just broke it. Ah, oh, I feel sad now. But this is one single layer. This is pretty much how much I stressed the carbon fiber before the clear coat cracked. And now it's obviously ruined, but it's just a test piece. And it looks like it's only the top layer came off. So what I can do, and the carbon fiber is now exposed, it's still glued down. I can actually overlay it with another layer and it'll be absolutely fine. Well, I'm well happy with the test. So from 488 gram, non-treated cardboard to what was it two kilo something plus another four dumbbells at one two fifty what that is that is your five kilos so seven kilos versus 480 gram we're talking about ten times stronger but it looks like, and that's quite interesting because this is, this is the time, first time I'm doing this guys and done it with you together. It looks like having carbon fiber at the top gives you more strength than having it at the bottom. It was still bowing down, it was still keeping the weight, but less. Well, on my beast I got top and the bottom of the deck done and now I can trust it, definitely.
beautiful carbon fiber it's a beautiful material so that's it guys for this video i hope you liked it it's a little bit of a test i will call it esk8 myth busting 02 and guess what single layer carbon fiber did not fail approved if you're interested there's a video number one esk8 uh, myth buster where i actually bust the green slime tape take a look write safely charge safely do everything safely stick around and don't forget to follow me on instagram just type in my first and last name in small letters together in insta and you'll find me see you soon